Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. In this video, we'll show you how to set up Google Ads conversion tracking for add to cut event. Okay, so this would be the complete guideline and I'll show you from steps how you can easily do it. Okay, so without any further delay, let's get started. So you can see over here, I have created an e-commerce site uh, to show you how to set up Google Ads conversion tracking for the add to cut event. Okay, and additionally, I have created a tag manager account, and obviously, you need to have a Google Ads account for uh, Google Ads conversion tracking. So, if I go to the website, then uh, if I try to show you, I have enabled data layer uh, for this site. If I click on one of the products, and if I take the help of an extension called data layer checker. Data layer is loading. Just wait a little bit. It is still loading. Let's see from the simple data layer checker. So you can see over here e commerce currency, value items, view item, event name. So data layer is working fine. So make sure you have enabled data layer too for your website. Okay, perfect. So let's go to the tag manager section. So before creating any Google Ads uh, event, we need to create conversion linker first. So I'll be setting up conversion linker first. For setting it up, I'll click on new and I'll name this as conversion linker. And as the tag configuration, I'm going to be choosing Google Ads conversion linker and I'll trigger it as all pages. Okay, I'm going to click on save. So we have created conversion linker. Now for setting up add to cut event, uh, we need some, we need to create some built in uh, data, uh, sorry, user defined variable. Okay, so I'll go to the variable section. And if I scroll down, we have an option called user defined variable. So I'm going to click on new and I'll name this variable as DLV add to curve value. Okay. I'll choose variable configuration as data layer variable. Then we have to, uh, we have to name the data layer variable in this section. So before creating it, we need to go to the preview section. Okay. I'll go click on preview. Then I'm going to provide my website URL and hit connect. So if I scroll down, then I'm going to choose one of the products, for example, this one. If I add this product to the cart, then if I go to the tag assistant, you can see add to cart event has fired. So this is add to cart. And if I go to the data layer, then you can see this is the data layer schema for the add to cart event. Okay. So we can create a uh, data layer variable by using this uh, data layer schema, okay? So you can see over here, e-commerce value and currency. So we need uh, e-commerce currency and value because transaction ID is not applicable for a to cut event. So let's create data layer variable for a to cut event. So I'll go to the variable section again. And if I scroll down, then we have an option called user defined variable and I will name it as uh, DLV add to cart value and I'll be choosing variable configuration as data layer variable and I'll provide e-commerce then dot uh, you can see e-commerce is an object so that's why I need to put dot then I'm going to copy value because e value is inside e-commerce, okay? 
ecommerce.value. I'm going to click on save. Then I'm going to copy this variable and modify it. Okay. I'll name it as GLB add to cart. Instead of value, we'll be naming it as currency. Okay. And I just need to change this one. So if I go to the tag assistant, then uh, currency is inside e commerce. So I'm going to copy currency from here. And instead of value, I'll be providing currency over here. Okay. Perfect. Then we need to create a trigger for add to cart event. So you can see over here, this is the uh, event name. So I can copy add to cart from here. And if I go to the trigger section, then I'll name the trigger as add to cart trigger. And trigger configuration would be custom event and event name would be add to cart. So I'll click on save. And then we'll be creating a Google Ads conversion tracking tag. So I'm going to click on new and name it as Google Ads conversion add to cart. I'll click on tag configuration. I'm going to be choosing Google Ads. I'll choose Google Ads conversion tracking. Then you can see over here we need uh, some something over here like conversion ID, conversion label, conversion currency, transaction ID is not available for this act to cut event, then currency code. So for getting conversion ID and level, we need to go to the Google Ads section. So you can see over here I'm on the Google Ads section of mine. Then if I uh, above our goals, then we have an option called conversion. So I'm going to click on it, then summary. Just click a little bit. I'm going to click on create conversion action. Then I need to provide my website URL for the scanning purpose. So I'm going to be choosing website. Then I need to provide the domain over here and click on scan. If I scroll down, then we have an option called add a conversion action manually. Then from the goal and optimization section, I'm going to be choosing add to cart. And I'll give the uh, conversion name as Google add, add to to okay. From the value section, we are going to be selecting this one. Down section, we are going to be selecting every. If you want, you can maximize the day range. Like I'll do it for 90 days. I'll do it for 30 days. And I'm going to do it for 30 days as well. Attribution will be data driven. I'll click on done. Then I'm going to click on save and continue. I'm going to choose tag manager from here. So here is conversion ID and this is conversion level. So I'm going to copy conversion ID from here and paste it over here. And in the conversion value, I'll be providing this one. Okay, perfect. And we have created some data layer variables. So for the conversion value, uh, this is the one, DLB add to cart value and conversion ID is not applicable. For currency code, we're going to be using DLB at to cut currency. And as the triggering, I'll trigger it as at to cut trigger. And I'm going to click on save. Okay. Perfect. Let's go to the Google Ads and click on done. If I scroll down, you can see over here Google Ads at to cut. This one is it is showing inactive. Okay. So let's preview from Google uh, Tag Manager, okay? So I'm gonna hit preview. Let's go a little bit. Okay, cool. Let's choose one of the products. 
for example, this one. Let's add this product to the cart. And let's go to the tag extent. You can see over here conversion linker has fired Google Ads conversion. Add to cart has fired one time. Okay, so if I click on it, click on this section, you know. And if I go to there, and if I go to the variable section, then you can see DLB at to cut currency, USD DLB at to cut value 32. If I go to here, then currency is in USD and order value is 32. Okay. That means everything is working fine, everything is working properly. So let's uh, go to the Google Ads dashboard and refresh the screen. We'll see it will be in no recent conversion mode from so inactive mode. Okay. And whenever you have the real time data, it will be active. It will be activated actually. And you will see the numbers. If I scroll down, then you can see over here Google Ads have to cut no recent conversions. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, that's it for this video. Hopefully you have understood how we can set up Google Ads conversion tracking for the app to cut event. Hopefully you have liked our video. If you like our video, then you can subscribe our channel, follow our page. Have a good day.